is Friday, March 25th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Friday puzzle today, so themeless puzzle, perhaps a little bit uh, more difficult than what we've seen so far in the week. We'll have to see. And this edition of the Daily Solve is brought to you by Overfull Hitbox, B.W. Diedrich, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And thank you to everybody who's backed the Patreon campaign at any tier, which gets you access to the full suite of bonus video recordings and um, the extra channel on the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Of course, if you're a benefactor, you also get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug and this uh, this recognition. But thank you to everybody. Um, it helps make this whole thing sustainable for me, and it encourages me to still do it every day, even when I'm uh, in what feels like a dark cave of a hotel room in order to keep my... Um, uh, webcam from being overexposed. I, it doesn't look like it's that dark in the video, but I promise it very much is. This webcam must really, uh, it really must soak up all the light that's been given it. Um, so I'm in, a, I'm in my little troll's cave here at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to be solving a crossword. So surroundings don't matter all that much. Let's, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to say. I don't think so. Um, this is a Friday crossword, of course, as I said, constructed by Evans Clinchy. I think I did crossword by Evans in the last couple of months, done about half a dozen puzzles or so, roughly, I think, and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get started. Ready to start solving. Yes. Play. Okay, break down fully. So this could be break down in a mechanical sense. It could be break down as in have a, a mental breakdown or simply descended to sobs, um, but I'm not sure which. So let's let's look around a bit more. Pandora releases. So Pandora is... So this could be referring to Pandora's box. It, the ills of the world maybe are released. You could maybe say it that way in the, in the classic myth. And it could also refer to I think Pandora is a music streaming app, so maybe it could be MP3s or something. I don't, no, of course not. You wouldn't have a number in there, especially not on a themeless day. What am I talking about? Anyway, let's just keep looking. They might help with the dishes. Um, I don't know, sous chefs or something like that, I wonder. Adage attributed to Virgil's Eclogue 10, presumably. Um, or X. I don't know this work by Virgil. I don't think so. I'm going to have to skip it. And of course, as a as a Friday themeless puzzle, we, well, this isn't intrinsic, but often on the themeless puzzles, the Friday and Saturday puzzles, we'll get these long grid spanning answers. And it's always fun to see what the constructor has managed to come up with that fits those very long spaces. But what about this? Not be completely open with everyone, to put it mildly. I mean, it could be so many things. I should probably focus on the downs, actually, for this top section, I think. Letters seen on an NFL, on NFL scoreboards between 1995 and 2015. No idea. Let's let's look at the downs. Like some confrontations, we have judge, which could be a verb or a noun. Blank school. could be med school or law school equally uh, or something else. Defeatists wail. I lost. I mean, it's the most straightforward interpretation of that, I think. could be I lose as well. Unless to a lawyer. I don't know. It wouldn't be sans, would it? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I prob it's probably a, a word or phrase that I've heard before and would recognize, but don't necessarily have as part of my personal vocabulary. That's my guess. Group of signs. The zodiac? Does that help up here? Break down fully. And what was this again? Oh, right. And less to a lawyer. Yeah, I seems plausible. Nephew of Cain and Abel. Oh, boy. Here's another one where I'll recognize it when I see it. Um, Seth, Esau, I don't remember the Esau maybe. I don't know, not sure, sorry. Difficulty, could be an ill as well actually. Member of the order, Anguilliformes or Anguilliformis. I'm not sure about that either. This is not going well so far, is it? Something to believe in. It could be a tenet or dogma maybe. Kids rhyme starter. Well, this could be eeny, meeny, miny, mo. the counting rhyme. Uh, man is one. Man is one. Isle of man? 
could be any number of things, though, I think. Puts on a coat. Paints. Coat of paint. Mischief prone. Hmm. Not sure. Somnolent. Well, this might help with the dishes. Do I have anything now that I've seen the T and the P? Taps? What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Um, with the dishes. Boy, there's so many different types of dishes that there could be. Um, let's keep looking through the crossword. Let's see. Oh, I just need to know this one thing. Fiddlesticks. Um, it could be drat or something like that. What about this? Encrusts. Could be cakes. Things get caked on to something else and crusted on. Aces of a sort. It could be air aces in fl aerial combat. Um, could be aces as in the card, in card games, playing cards. It could be aces in uh, serving tennis or another racket sport. Um, I mean, it could be so many things. It could be aces meaning great, although probably not in this case, given the way that the clue is phrased. Deploy. It could be use, straightforwardly enough. Fiddlesticks. Spin as old yarn. Exam where 100 is not a perfect score. Well, the fact that they've used the word exam means test could be in here still, because you'll never repeat a word from the definition, in the, from the clue into the answer, but sometimes it's conspicuous when they use, I mean, exam is a perfectly normal word to use as well. I'm not suggesting there's anything unusual or obscure about it, but it does mean we could fit test in here, which only, I only say that because we do have an E in this cell, which makes it possible. But let's check the crosses. Boomer that went bust in brief. So this um, perhaps a slight misdirection. You might think this is referring to a baby boomer, but I believe it's referring to an aircraft that produces a sonic boom. Um, supersonic uh, transport, I think, which would have been the Concorde jet that uh, went bust in the sense that it d did not remain economical to run, and so it's no longer operating. Um, I think there are new su uh, supersonic aircraft passenger aircraft being developed at the moment, actually. It's been a while since there, we've had any. Within reach, could be at hand, loses and prepares to take off. Could be taxis. So the SST could taxi, in fact. Um, taxiing on the, the runway or, or the apron. Really dig. And the sun's is approximately 865,370 miles. I'm guessing that's the sun's diameter. And government organization since 1946. Social Security Administration, perhaps? Here we have organization that was the subject of a 2021 Supreme Court antitrust ruling. I'm guessing, based on the fill, this is going to be the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletics Administration, or whatever it is, Association Administration Agency, one of those. And loses, owes, sheds, of course. So really, dig, to really dig something is to, why do I not see that, Excite, be excited by, or, well, sometimes I miss these things that <laughs> seem like they should be just so intensely obvious. Palindromic title could be Madam, excuse me, Madam, and it's palindromic because um, the letters, uh, if read in either order, the word is spelled the same. So I'm starting from either direction, it's the same word. The crane pose, for one, would be an asana, a yoga asana pose. And goddess of fertility. Um, Isis is a goddess of fertility, right? Key of Beethoven's fur Elise. Um, I think it's A minor. Sorry, I was just literally imagining the shape of it on a keyboard, on a piano keyboard, and I think it's A minor, but I'm not... I wouldn't stake my life on it, that's for sure. Car with open source patents. Um, 
Tesla, maybe? No, that's great. If that's A minor, I'm pleased with myself for figuring that out. Uh, shortcut. Shortcut. A slit could be a, an example of a cut that is short. Uh, so this is shortcut spelled as two words. So don't, um, obviously, again, the, this sort of very light misdirection in the sense that you'd read this and you'd think it means shortcut. In other words, a, fast, a faster way of achieving something or getting somewhere. But no, two different words, shortcut. So a cut that is short. Uh, what father knows best? Question mark. So some sort of pun or wordplay. What father knows best? So it could be asking, what thing does father know best? But it also could be asking, which of the fathers is the best at knowing, if you see what I mean? Um, I don't know if that <laughs> that thought is helping me in any particular way. Uh, chill. It could be veg, just vegetate, chill out. Looks weird against really dig though, doesn't it? Why do I not see what that is? Oh, excavate. It's because I was on the completely incorrect sense of dig. So lots of, lots of soft misdirection on this puzzle for sure, which is par for the course for a themeless puzzle, I would say. Um, in the absence of a theme, the puzzle constructor finds their, uh, sort of finds their way to, to confuse and challenge us, us through different means. Okay. Where some dropouts go on, what do some dropouts, I'm sorry, go on to get in Bruce. So in the U.S., um, I think GEDs, which is something like general education diploma or something. I, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I'm having, I'm getting, I'm getting some of that wrong, but if you don't graduate secondary school, you can get a GED that is the equivalent certification. Okay. Now what about these long answers? Haven't looked at the ones at the bottom of the grid yet. Mantra, mantra in the face of criticism and conceitedly dogmatic opinionated of some sort, perhaps, blank economy, I just need to know this one thing, so something this could be other than opinionated, it's ending with I blank P is sort of strange, conceitedly dogmatic, Um, what about some other downs? Blank economy, rest area, um, a cot or a loo if it was if it's referring to a place where toilets are. A cot if it were a bed. Something else if it's something else. <laughs> uh, squishy material. I don't know. Maybe nerf if it's a commercial material, perhaps. That's a pretty out there guess. So I'm, I'm not going to leave it there. But uh, winter air. Frost or chill, minimal change. And here we have cleared one's cookies. Eight, I suppose. Uh, there's a question mark indicating a bit of a pun or wordplay. Which someone asked, actually, in response to yesterday's puzzle, because they were curious, having seen an answer that didn't have the question mark, but it was similar to the kind of punny wordplay-oriented answers that do. And they were asking what... Dif what delineates the question mark answers from the non-question mark answers. And honestly, I think it's very subjective. Um, even within a single puzzle, I think you can find examples of examples where it could have gone either way. And I think this is, this is one, if indeed the answer is eight. Okay. Crown topper and stew over say, uh, my keyboard has started doing this incredibly laggy thing that happens sometimes when I'm remote. Very frustrating. Dreaded words from a teacher. Could be see me on a test or something. Speaker's hesitations. Could be ums or ers or ahs. Could be actually several things, I suppose. Like some confrontations. Alternative. No. Judge. Sorry. Um. I was going to say maybe determine, but that's one one letter too many. Uh, like many crossword puzzles, they're not this one themed. How about that? That's that's fun. And what is this? So, oh, I don't think I saw this. Sacked out. What does that mean? I don't think I know that phrase actually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Mod's widower on The Simpsons. I don't know, but I'm wondering if it's Abe, who is Homer Simpson's grandfather, I think. Is his father or his grandfather? I'm actually not sure, but um, perhaps that's who this is. 
Act one, act one's age. No, maybe not. Because act one's age could be behave. What is this again? Sacked out. Oh, it could be a bed. If you lie a bed, you're in bed. Is that what sacked out means? Um, boy, this this keyboard is so. I guess it's probably not the keyboard. It's probably the computer. But anyway, it's it's very slow. You can't tell because you just see when the thing happens on the screen. But to me, everything is extremely lagged. Anyway, something that's thrown out while using it. And boy, I just can't do anything. Um, it was working fine when I started the video. Uh, minimal change. Traditional 20th wedding anniversary gift. Oh, these are always so interesting and strange and actually are different by country. The different... Uh, the materials used in different anniversary years, there um, there are different sets of them. And I think there are even traditional and modern ones, so there are quite a few different possibilities and permutations of that. Uh, okay, so let's see. Mantra in the face of criticism. This looks very odd. I wonder if I have something wrong over here. I think I might. Conceitedly dogmatic. Oh, maybe this is over-opinionated. So why did I think that was wrong? Oh no, wait, what did I do that made me think that was incorrect? I somehow thought this was a P here. Right, I think I just spelled it. I think I, I, think I just entered it badly and it made me think this was a P which seemed unlikely. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Rest area could be a spa. Blank economy, gig economy. That's a common phrase these days. Cause for concern. Um, and so what is this? So here we're back to the mantra in the face of, in the face of criticism. And uh, minced words say edited. You could mince in a, in a slightly more literal sense of <laughs> cutting up the words as an editor. So there we go. Winter air. Squishy material. Maybe it is Nerf. Look at that. That's funny if that ends up being what it is. Cause for concern. A red flag. There we go. Something that's thrown out while using it. Mods Widower on The Simpsons. Ned? Does Ned Flanders maybe... Oh, I didn't even really remember or maybe even know that Ned Flanders was a widower. Um, something that's thrown out while using it. Anchor. I see. You throw the anchor out to sea, and that is how, in fact, how it is used. Okay. Mantra in the face of criticism. Hate is... I wonder if I know this. Winter air... 20... Oh, China must be the... Must be, anyway, one of the 20, traditional 20th weathering, wedding anniversary gifts. Uh, winter air. Oh, a carol. <laughs> very clever. This is this this puzzle is full of very clever cluing. So in this case, an air refers to a song. Um, so something you sing in the winter, a Christmas carol, for instance. That's very that's very clever. And anyway, it looks like I was wrong about slit here because maybe I'll delete all that just in case. This looks like haters gonna hate. So I was. I had something wrong, and that was throwing me off and making me unable to see that. So here we have, oh, I don't think we saw this, baleful. Um, so baleful meaning, you know, sort of ominous. Now what is that? What father knows best? Oh, what is this shortcut? Oh, right, it's not probably not T anymore because it isn't slit. Um, oh, a snip, a snip. There we go, a shortcut, a snip. It's better than slit anyway. Uh, what father's what father knows best prayers, because in this case father meaning a priest, and baleful. Oh. So baleful in this case doesn't mean ominous. It means it's a question. I sh they should have observed the question mark meaning pun or wordplay. So <laughs> a baleful could be a baleful of hay because hay is baled on a farm, and so ah, it looks like you've got quite a, a baleful over there. A baleful of hay. I have no idea if that's something anyone has ever said, but in a punny sense with the question mark indicating that bit of wordplay, we can understand what it means. So I think the goddess of fertility may be Isis after all. In fact, I'm quite confident it is Isis. So I just need to know this one thing. This looks like a quick question. How about that? 
Ah, so exam where 100 is not a perfect score is an IQ test. There we go. Aces of a sort. Oh, so maybe it is an air ace. Airman, airman perhaps? And minimal change. Ah, a sense. So once again, just, just some subtle misdirection here. Change meaning um, change for a cash transaction. You, you might get a cent in return. The most minimal change it is possible to get in the United States currency system. Well, I suppose unless you're dealing with some kind of weird fractional finance, but in terms of in any normal circumstances. Crown topper, oh, enamel. So, yep, again, a little bit of light misdirection. Crown, in this case, not referring to a crown that one may wear or anything like that, but rather uh, a crown on, your, on a tooth uh, coated with enamel. Oh, and spin as old yarn would be retail. Again, we have the question mark here, cluing us into a bit of punniness. So uh, an old yarn, so spinning a yarn obviously can literally refer to spinning wool. But in this case, you're telling an old story, an old yarn. And then I don't think, oh, wait, I think I did look at this once and then move past it. Stew over say is to rue. So that's actually a straightforward definition to rue something. Well, it isn't actually a definition, which is why this says stew over, stew over say. You might, if you rue something, you might stew over it. You don't have to stew over something if you rue it, but you might. Alternative to an auto camp. What is an auto camp? Auto camp, I'm not sure. Canadian band with the 1999 top 10 hit, Steal My Sunshine. I may or may not have remembered this without any crosses, but with the crosses, I do actually remember it is the band... Len. I have no idea if Len still exists or released any any music outside of the song Still My Sunshine. I there was the strangest the reason I had this in my head is because in the UK there's this ad that was running for I think Marcus, which is a it was it was other it was some savings account product. And there's one called Marcus in the UK run by Goldman Sachs, the the American Investment Bank. And it was either that or a competing sort of online savings account. And they used the song Steal My Sunshine and it was in in the ad and it was just running through the whole ad and I found it the strangest thing because I couldn't find any way in which it was thematically relevant to anything the ad was saying or about or the concept of a savings account. I just remember it really struck me and it ran, I heard it for months on podcasts I listened to. Anyway, speaker's hesitation. So still could be ums, ers, ahs and alternative to an Auto camp. I don't know. Where to see license plates that say greatest show on earth? Oh, oh, sorry. Greatest snow on earth. Sorry. I'm on a very small screen when I'm remote like this. And so sometimes I don't quite, uh, sometimes I miss parse things. Uh, Utah, perhaps. I know that Utah does have good skiing. So perhaps that's what, I've never been to Utah, but I've, I've certainly heard that. And so maybe that's what this refers to. Um, so speaker's hesitations could be ums, and alternative to an auto camp is, oh, a motel, perhaps. So an auto camp, is that somewhere you might park your car to sleep there overnight? It must be. You sleep in your car, maybe. Uh, like some confrontations, toe to toe. That works. <clears throat> and, oh, blank sight, out of sight. I don't remember if I saw this, I don't remember if I've seen this clue yet, but in any case, I think that's the answer. And judge... Um, oh, this seems like it should be very obvious. Ah, driving me absolutely crazy. Unless to a lawyer, that's right. Remember that one from all the way at the beginning of the crossword? Still haven't solved it. Uh, and then here we have the adage. So there could be a U after the Q. Difficulty. A rut or a bump or... The rub, there's the rub, there's the difficulty, perhaps that. They might help with the dishes. Recipes. Ah, oh, right, this looks wrong. Fiddlesticks looks like crud, not crud. So tenant was incorrect. That was strange that I left that in there. I think it's because I got Eni on the back of tenant and therefore didn't think to reconsider it. But it was a strangely speculative thing to leave in the grid with very few crosses. Anyway, they might help with the dishes. Looks like recipes to me. And something to believe in. A creed. There we go. So a creed could, could contain tenets of faith, for instance. 
Um, oh, okay, here we go. Member of the Order, order Anguilliformis. I thought this might be eel for some reason. I don't know why. It just seemed like it might be correct. And actually, now I think it might be, we, now that we have an E there. I didn't mention it because I didn't really have any reason to think it was correct other than it just felt that way to me. Um, not be completely open with everyone, to put it mildly. Double, not be complete. Live, live a double life, something like that. Lead a double life. There we go. Okay, so blank school looks like med school. I think I thought either med school or law school, and in this case, looks like med. Break down fully. Ah, to atomize something. So it was, uh, it's the it was the version of this actually that I don't even think I considered, which was that you would be disintegrating something essentially, breaking it down fully, atomizing it. There we go. Pandora releases. Um, yeah, I still don't know if this is Pandora's box or the music service or something else. Judge. Why do we not see what this is? That's very frustrating. Uh, defeatist, defeatist's whale. I can't. Ah, that's better than I lost because defeatism doesn't necessarily mean you actually have lost. It just means you're convinced you, you will. So I can't is better than I lost. That wouldn't be the whale of the defeatist. That would be the whale of the defeated. So there we go. Got to be precise in crossword clue parsing. And nephew of Cain and Abel. Oh, Is Iso? No, Enoch. Is it Enoch? No, that would be spelled differently. Oh, love conquers all. Is the Virgil adage, seemingly. Um, I've certainly heard that and knew it was from the classics, but I absolutely would not have known it was Virgil specifically. And... Why do I not see what Judge is? What am I missing here? This is Pandora releases. Maybe this isn't Atomize. Oh, Itemize. Look at that. Wow. That's actually completely, a completely valid alternative. That's amazing, actually. Um, I don't know why I'm so struck by that, but it's. I suppose it's because they're both such specific words. Atomize and Itemize. They're both extremely specific, and they have an un, they have unusual an unusual letter in the penultimate position. So, yeah, it's so interesting that those both worked. Wow. So anyway, that makes Judge evaluate. No wonder I couldn't figure out what this was. And then, indeed, Pandora does release the ills, which I think was one of my first guesses about that. And then letters seen on NFL scoreboards between 1995 and 2015 would be St. Louis, presumably. And then... Enos, E-N-O-S, that's who this is. That's what I was trying to, to think of. I was thinking of sort of triangulating it, I think, from a bunch of different names and wasn't arriving at the correct one. And then, unless to a lawyer must be Nisi, I don't know that I know that. I hope this is correct. Maybe I'll leave it till the last to fill in just in case. Uh, 4.92892 milliliters is a teaspoon, one of the ridiculous uh, non-metric measurements Um between which conversions are a huge pain. I actually, I didn't realize it wasn't five milliliters. I thought it was actually five milliliters because I have some um, measuring spoons that have both, that, that are measured in both milliliters and the sort of ta t teaspoon, tablespoons, and they treat it as though it's a straight five mil. I didn't, uh, didn't know it was slightly less, but I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Mischief prone is elfish, I suppose, and kind of impish, mischievous kind of sense. And then somnolent is sleepy, so that makes sense. I think I forgot to consider possible answers for that earlier. But in any case, gray in a way would be ashy. And shall we hope this is an S? It is. There we go. All right. So I think this was the curve that I tend to expect and honestly enjoy with a themeless puzzle, which is that, well, let's admire, let's admire this puzzle um, as directed, which is that it starts off and it's difficult to break into the grid because it, it is just clued in a more, in, in a more challenging way than the pre themeless days of the week. So we start off and it's, it's hard to really be certain about things because we get very vague, we get very vague clues like judge, which as I said earlier, could be a noun or a verb. Um, you get things like blank school, which could very equally and plausibly be at least two different things, probably more than two different things. Um, 
difficulty, an incredibly vague word. I mean, I, maybe I could have landed on this earlier, but in any, but you see what I mean. The thing that distinguishes themeless puzzles tends to be they uh, have much more vagueness and misdirection in the cluing. So it can often be difficult to find your foothold in the grid. But then once you do, it really starts opening up and you, you can start moving through it much more quickly and confidently. And that's that's what I found this case, in this case. And I really enjoyed it. And often in themeless puzzles, you also get these long grid spanning answers. So in this case, we got love conquers all, lead a double life, um, haters gonna hate and over opinionated. And then another almost grid spanning clue with quick question. And I suppose in this case, actually, all of these are basically idiomatic, maybe not quite, you wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't quite say idiomatic phrases, but they're all basically phrases. They aren't, we don't have a sort of uh, long name of a medication or a person's name or, uh, you know, an unusually long noun or something like that. We, in, in this case, all of our long ones are, they're, they're, uh, they're essentially phrases. Love conquers all, lead a double life, quick question, haters can hate, over opinionated, I suppose, might be the one exception to that. That is, that is, that is basically a single sort of compound word that is an adjective. But other than that, these are, these are all phrases rather than, than words, if you see what I mean. Um, not any kind of theme, it's just, uh, well, not a theme in, in the strict crossword sense, but you could call it a sort of light, it's sort of a linguistic leaning, maybe, of the constructor. The constructor has leaned in a certain direction for this puzzle, although while obviously stopping short of any kind of theme. Uh, but I really liked it. I thought that was a really good puzzle. And I don't think there was much in there that was very unfair. I think if, if you were going to call something out that is, as I've been doing on several puzzles this week, that's the tough thing, the tough cross that might require some guessing in some people's cases would be Enos and Nisi, the unless to a lawyer and the nephew of Canaan and Abel. Um, I definitely got this because of Enos rather than because of the uh, legal term. So, uh, if you have at least one of those, it's helpful. But if you, but with this kind of thing where it's a where it's either two proper nouns or it's a proper noun and something in a different language, for instance, as here, uh, that can be pretty difficult. But anyway, that's the that's the puzzle. I did enjoy it. Let me know how you fared. If you found this one, uh, how, how did you find this relative to Friday puzzles? I suppose it's always that that's always more useful, I think, than considering how difficult it is on some absolute level because the difficulty level does change so much over the course of any given week. So, you know, how did you find this relative to a Friday for you? I'm curious. Um, it's it's inter it's always fun to see in the Discord chat server. I haven't been there much this week because I've been out of town, so I haven't. I should remember to pop pop back into the Discord, but. Uh, there have been some people in there posting uh, long streaks, their first long streaks in the crossword, or they've they've done a, uh, a Friday puzzle straight through for their first time, all kinds of things like that. And it's really nice to see. So to the extent that I'm helping with that at all, I'm very gratified. Um, so that's that. That's the Friday puzzle. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, and actually, sorry, I, don't, I, I checked for comments from yesterday's, and I don't think there were any corrections from yesterday's puzzle, at least not at the time, not not at the point right before I started recording this, there weren't. Uh, there was one question which was about uh, why some things are appended with the question mark and some aren't, and I actually ended up talking about that in the in the recording anyway. So so that's that's it. I will wrap up this video and and um, leave you to your Friday. But uh, please do join me tomorrow for the Saturday puzzle, another themeless puzzle, maybe even more difficult than this one, most likely, and. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and it will make things easier for you to watch these puzzles or ignore them. You can you can intentionally ignore them rather than tacitly ignore them if you subscribe. How about that? That's, um, I prefer you didn't, but <laughs> of course that's your right. Uh, what's also your right is whether you join me tomorrow for the Saturday puzzle. I hope you do. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care.